show you some more of the highlights, and these more on the lower end of showing how <laughs> difficult it is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Seminole President Jimmy Dunn was talking about this term that they have at Seminole called Greens Visited and Regulation, and this is a great example of, well, Greens Visited and Regulation. It was just a little wedge shot. It looked pretty good. But the greens at Seminole have all of these little false fronts, false backs, false sides. You saw the false side there at the first. Here is Rory at the second with uh, a nice little wedge. He's posing. You would have thought it was pen high, but it catches the back of this green. And the perimeter of that green sort of angles off in every direction. Will not hold a shot. And uh, again, when you're putting up the slope and then you get to the crown, it is very difficult, even for the best players, with the sharpest of nerves, with the sharpest of gains, to judge quickly. Now consider the fact that this golf course was nowhere near as fiery as it normally is, and there was nowhere near as much wind as there normally is. Ordinarily, the fairways are wide, yes, but ordinarily there's 20, 30 mile an hour winds, which bring into play some of these waste areas. And if you get in those waste areas, well, typically you're not going to get the best of lies, as Matt Wolf found out. He found out as well about how hard it is to putt when you're on the wrong side of a crowned green. Up and over and down the hill, and of course it'll keep drifting away from you. That's Wolf at the 11th hole, he sort of paid the price for it. And then Dustin Johnson, again, coming out of the bunker, short shot, but it is a crowned green or a false runoff on the side. And uh, there's plenty of difficulty to this golf course, which uh, is nothing new. I was reading a little bit in preparation uh, for this week, and I, I came across a story I thought was hilarious. Uh, Arnold Palmer, in his rookie year, went there for the pro member, the famous pro member. After the first round, he shot 87. He went back home, and he said he wasn't going to go back the next day. And his wife, Winnie, said, Arnold, come on, how bad can it be? I mean, at least you can't do any worse than that. The next day, he went out and played. He came back home, and he said, Winnie, you were wrong. I shot 88. <laughs> <laughs> so the, wow. So the golf course can play exceedingly difficult. Obviously, the golf course uh, was in uh, great scoring condition today. It was. And it is one of the, truly the best, not only here in Florida, here in the United States, of course. And we were treated to seeing it today.